perfect world. But he gave them a choice. He said, there's another tree here. There's a tree of the knowledge of good and evil. He said, if you eat from that tree, you will die. So God gave man a choice between life and death, between following him or being separated. And we know what man did, but that's what God did. He, he gave them a choice because love is a choice. And without that choice, man wouldn't know what love is. So today, Lorraine and Matt are choosing to celebrate their love and choosing to, to show their love in this in, by, by being married together for the rest of their lives. And you're going to need time to adjust. This is a new relationship. You've left every other relationship behind. So there's going to be time to, to, to readjust your lives. Time to adjust to one another and to, and to adjust to, to this new person in Christ Jesus. So don't, uh, don't, don't be surprised if things take a bit of time to get adjusting to because you will need to readjust. I know you've been through a lot together and, uh, and you've, uh, you've experienced a lot even in this short time. But there'll still be time to get to know each other. So the choice is today is that you're giving up your old life. Again, you're giving up, you're giving up life as, as, as me, Matt. Giving up life as me, Lorraine, and you're becoming Matt and Lorraine. Thank you, Lord. And you know, sometimes we're not always 100% lovable all the time. You know, sometimes we do things, we say things that, that can shake our marriages even. Sometimes we we're not always we're not always lovable. So what do we do in those situations? Well, what we, what we do is we look we look to Jesus. We look what did Jesus do? And, uh, Jesus, Jesus said when he was being crucified, when he was on the cross, experiencing the the, the worst form of death that anybody that any, anybody could ever be could ever experience. He said, forgive them, Father, because they don't know what they're doing. And that's what we need to do. We need to forgive. There needs to be room for forgiveness in our lives. Jesus said, forgive us our trespasses as we have already forgiven those who trespass against us. So there needs to be space for forgiveness in our marriage. Otherwise, without forgiveness, there'll be no marriage. So, Matt and Lorraine, we always remember to, to be willing and be open and ready to forgive. In Jesus' name. I want to go back a second because I still and, uh, okay. I just want to go back and, and talk about what what uh, what marriage is. When when God gave marriage, He said He said that uh, the two will become one flesh. It's a covenant. That's an inseparable.